Hello and welcome to this demonstration video of the BCNet CMDB. At, uh, this, this piece of software is developed at BCNet and we use it for our daily uh, network management tasks such as uh, for statistics collections, configuration management, uh, monitoring and reporting. What you'll see here is the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard consists of a number of widgets that uh, every user can enable or disable uh, if he or she wishes. You can reorder them as well. So let's, for example, uh, enable a new widget here. Um, it's really easy to create new widgets, um, and similarly, it's very easy to create plugins as well. There's a widget slash plugin framework available, and everyone with a little bit of PHP or um, or a little bit of PHP experience can develop its own widget or uh, plug it. So um, as you can see this one's now new and uh, you can reorder it and stuff like that. Another widget is the uh, IP manager here as well which actually also supports uh, IPv6 which might be interesting as well for some people. Um, the next thing I'd like to show you is devices. Devices, so for example uh, let's we click here on one of the devices um, shows you all the information about the device, allows you to share passwords with your co-workers. This is all AES encrypted um, in the database, so it's stored encrypted. You can only decrypt it if you have the group password. Other things you'll see here is uh, interfaces and device control. On the device control you find things such as to which console server it's connected, uh, to which remote power cycle box it's connected and uh, things like that. Okay, so I selected uh, interfaces here. Uh, here you see all the information regarding the interfaces of this device. Uh, the current throughput, IPv4 addresses, IPv6 addresses. Um, note that there's mouse overs so that you can see the current throughput, things like that. Okay, the other thing I'd quickly like to show you is the device, or sorry, the locations. For example, this location is a location in Vancouver. Each location has all kinds of information, such as addresses and contact information, but also each location has one or more rooms of different room types underneath. So, for example, here you can see a whole bunch of collection, uh, different uh, rooms and offices um, under this location. The other thing I'd like to show you is uh, contacts. So, for example, if we uh, everywhere where you see these things, you can just filter uh, a contact. Think of a contact as a client or um, a vendor or a peering partner. You can create different contact types yourself. Um, this is one of uh, this is one of our clients. Um, and you can see that we created a group canary, which is a, is a, is a contact person. But underneath there, there's different contact persons, uh, technical contacts, emergency contacts, things like that. And you can create multiple contact types yourself and reuse all the persons as well. So once you've ha created contacts, locations, and devices, you can now uh, start to configure services. And uh, that's when it re really becomes uh, quite powerful. So for example, if we look for a service, uh, let's see, one of the uh, UBC peering services. Uh, let's see. So this is where we store all the information regarding a certain service. So on which device is it for, who is this service configured, who is the contact information, what port is it on, what VLAN numbers are used, is there any traffic shaping or policing and what what IP addresses and uh, what AS numbers things like that well that's all stored here and we also have per service uh, reporting based on uh, traffic reporting so it's very easy for us to now say per service how much is being used uh, talking about statistics uh, you can go here as well and then you can just see all the statistics for all ports on a specific device. Uh, you can search, you can go to list view instead of these preview views. Uh, you can click on one of them and then you can also zoom in um, to a specific uh, time frame. So you just click on it and then you'll just, um, then, then you have the ability to zoom in here just like that. Um, the other thing I'd like to show you is um, really quick we have a IP manager here which allows you to um, to use this as an IP address management solution. Um, for example, this is an example of IPv4, but it also supports IPv6, and it will create a tree view, uh, view of your uh, IP network. Um, there you can see that. Then there's also uh, monitoring and reporting. Here you can see it's really sort of like Nagios, but with a nice web interface. It uses Nagios plugins as well. Here you can see all the events. It's charting this data and it allows you to report on it as well, so you can create easily create um, availability, availability reports and stuff like that. There's plugins as well. Too many to go over right now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need more information, feel free to contact me.